everyone? My name is Bill, and today I'm going to work on a scroll saw project. So the other night I was telling my wife that I wanted to make a new sign or a project for our Etsy shop, and I was trying to think of ideas what to do, and she said um, she'd like some corbels. That would be cool if I could make them. Um, didn't understand what she was talking about. I had to have her repeat it a few times, but um, turns out corbels are a thing. I looked them up, Googled them, and they look pretty cool, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'm going to try the whole thing on my scroll saw. I'm not sure um, if I can get it all done, the, the trim pieces with angles I've never done on my scroll saw. I'm not the most experienced scroll sawer, but um, it's a lot of fun and I enjoy doing it. So what I've done first, I've already got the boards cut here. Um, I'm going to stack cut three boards for the outside design of it. And then I will end up stack cutting two boards for the, for the intricate design part of it. Um, I haven't had good luck with stack cutting in the past. Um, I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to scroll sawing. I want to get done as quick as I can. So I've had the blade bend on me before. And then when I take the stack apart, the pieces aren't cut even. And so I'm going to try to be patient, get it done this time. And, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to get set up on the scroll saw. And then once I get everything ready, um, we'll start cutting wood. So I got the stencil put on. I uh, got the boards ready to stack cut so here's what i got here's the design i'll be cutting out you can see it with all the light glaring you can see i use painter's tape to tape my boards together this might be a reason why i have problems with stack cutting you know i've seen other scroll sawyers use uh like spray glue glue the boards together and then sand them off when they're done um i haven't tried that yet um that's something i might try so if you're an experienced scroll sawyer and you have any ideas on how to best secure your wood for um, uh, stack cutting, leave some comments below. Give me some tips. I'd appreciate it. So you can see here, I haven't drilled any of my holes out yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut all three boards here for the same design on the outside of the, board, uh, the stencil. Um, then I'm going to stack two of them together to cut my um, design part out. So how this is going to look, you'll have the solid piece in the middle. And the two outside boards with the design will sandwich it. So we'll head on over to the scroll saw and start cutting. All right, I'm ready to cut on the scroll saw. I got the boards over here. As you can see, I don't have a lot of clearance under the scroll saw head here, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what we can do. So here we go.
done with that, so we'll take it apart and we'll see how it looks. You can see how bad that got messed up trying to go through there. Um, I think if I had three flat boards, I could have made it. Um, I think because we're a little bowed, it wasn't that, just wasn't enough clearance to get through there. Um, as long as it didn't, as long as it all cut straight, I'm not too concerned about some of this damage. Um, you can always go back and just put that board in the middle. Um, you can see the damage that that did. Um, all these marks here. But like I said, this board can go in the middle if everything else lines up like I want it to. So. pretty good actually um, so everything is pretty lined up once I glue it together uh, can clamp it together uh, I think just a light sanding will get everything lined up um, could have been worse so so far so good for my first video um, stack cutting and screwing it all up but looks like we're gonna be all right I'm gonna try to make it work so uh, what I would do next yeah, this this board's definitely going towards the inside anyways um, yeah maybe I don't want it in the middle because you're gonna be able to see some of that middle board once I put the design piece on the outside so maybe I want to keep it on this side here um, now that I'm thinking about it so normally I would take this piece and leave it on there and then drill my holes in all my designs I think I might even still try that it didn't really mess up where my holes are going to be so as long as i can get those lined up um i think we'll be all right let me see yeah that's actually up or uh, right here. So that one I'm actually gonna have to see if I can sand out them. Let me see if I can do that real quick. again once I get all the holes going through it. So I'm going to try to reuse this piece. Um, what I'm going to do is try to trace where I need to cut. Um, don't know if that's going to work. Um, but again, with the scroll saw, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to work on this and I'll come back once I got it. All right, here we go. Stack cut. I got my design on there. Like I said, um, I just traced out from this 
thing that I tore up my holes, kind of drew them in. Again, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like that. I can do it however I want, and trust me, even these little designs I got drawn on here aren't going to be exactly like that by the time I'm done with the scroll saw. So, um, I put a new blade in. Obviously, that blade got jacked up from from that, so I I won't scroll or I won't stack cut three boards like that again. But two two boards should go a lot smoother, a lot easier. So um, the big thing is the nine holes I got here. So we'll get started on that and get this done. All right, so I'm gonna take it over to the scroll saw. I'm gonna take the blade, put it through my first hole. Try to get the blade down through there without bending it. Um, then I'll bring the head of the scroll saw down, attach it to the blade, and then we get started with the cut.
right back over here on the table on the workbench. Try to get it apart here. My hands are freezing. But I'm excited to see how this is going to work out. Sawdust everywhere. There's one. Oh, that one did not seem to cut all the way. That's why I want to pop out. Where am I? There we go. All right, so we got that one. Putting them together. Yeah, looks pretty good. See, all the holes line up. Looks pretty good. So how this is going to be a finished piece. Um, this will go here. This will go here. So this is how it will look for the finished piece on um, both sides. I think it's going to turn out really good. I'm going to have to do some sanding, you know, to try clamping once I get it glued together. Um, might trim this top edge off. Uh, it's pretty thin. Um, but we'll see. You see here, I got some sanding to do from where my blade hit. But overall, I think it's going to, it's going to be really nice. So. All right, hello again. Since last time, um, I cut out another set of corbel so now i have two sets um all i'm going to do now is is glue them together so there's still a lot of work to do i'm going to glue them together um after the glue is set i'll sand them to make them even you can see here how we're not even so it's going to take a little bit of sanding to get that done um and then after that i'm going to cut boards there will be a board here that runs the length here and a board across the top here um, with a little probably beveled edge on it but right now i'm just gonna glue these together i got all my pieces laid out as you can see here uh, i'm just gonna put some glue on them and then i'm gonna clamp them up all together so i can i'm gonna think three clamps will work for all of it i'm just gonna try to get a bunch of glue on Backside, you can see here, um, it's not quite even, but that'll sand down nice. And there's a board going over the top of that. So, what I was working on is trying to get this side nice and smooth. So, which it is, um, it's really that's really close. So, there'll be a little sanding there, but not much. So, we'll let this dry, and then after that, we'll go on to. 
All right, everybody, here's my finished corbel. Um, I got two of them. You can see. All I did here is I added a piece on the bottom, piece on the side, cut them out of 45s. Um, and that's it. Jen's going to paint them now. We'll show you guys on our page um, what they look like when they're finished. So thanks for watching.